the Sunset Gallery Studios is, lo is a 14-acre, uh, 50,000 uh, square meter television and movie studio at the corner of Sunset and Vine. And also, at one time, it may still be recording there. Filming is Days of Our Lives. <coughs> Sunset and Gower was established in 1912 to continue today's as Hollywood's largest independent studio and an active facility for television and film production on its 12 sound stages. Sunset and Gower Studios uh, was founded in 1912, headquartered at Sunset Boulevard and Gower Streets. It produces uh, televisions and movies. Uh, it was once known as Poverty Row, area of Hollywood bounded by Sunset Boulevard, North Gower Street on the west side, Beachwood Drive on the east, was a collection of small warehouses and offices where independent filmmakers gathered to buy short ends of film from the major studios in order to create their American dreams. In 1922, Harry Cohen and the Cohen brand uh, film sales corporation rented at 6070 Sunset Boulevard from Poverty Row, following the success of the movie into the films. Columbia Pictures acquired a Gower Studios property with the stages previously used by California Studios. In 1928, Columbia's official address became 1438 Gower Street, and that year they <coughs> bought the last piece of land of the old Gower Ranch at 1400 North Gower Street. The Sunset Gower Studio lot, the home of Columbia Classics, as Frank Capra's, it happened one night in 1934. Mr. Smith goes to Washington, 1939. The Three Stories Shorts, Buddy Girl, and The Kane Mutiny has continued to host productions and new films. Also, the Nickelodeon film there. Uh, after Harry Cohen died in 1958, at the age of 66, his memorial service was held in Stage 12 and 14 at the studios. Uh, there is no stage 13. In 1977, the property was purchased by the Pick Randolph Corporation for $6.2 million, which changed to Sunset Gower Studios. In 2004 of November, Sunset Gower Studios was purchased by the GI Partners for an estimated $105 million, and in 2006 began construction on a six story building. For the Technicolor essay, August 2007, Sunset Gower Studios was bought by Hudson Capital. The Technicolor building opened its doors in 2008. Since 2007, the studio has been undergoing both interior and exterior improvements. On the lot, Sunset Gower Studios now working closely with sister company Sunset Bronson Studios, located just a couple of blocks west of the site of the original Warner Brothers Studios, 1923 to 1937, formerly owned by the Tribune Company. Sunset, uh, Vine, Sunset Gower Studios has continued to host productions on top new films as The Good Shepherd and The German. Television programs which have occupied several sound stages, most notably including series Scandal and How to get away with murder and ended series heroes dexter news radio the amanda show deal or no deal saved by the bell hip-hop harry city guy six feet under jag married with children so that's so raven marisha the parkers the daughter reed show father knows best i dream of genie which also used the Follows Knows Best Exterior House and the Donna Reed Show Interior Living Room Bewitched The Monkeys, the first two seasons of The Golden Girls, the first three seasons of The Facts of Life, and the final season of Silver Spoons. <coughs> Harry Cohen died in 1956. I'm sorry, Harry Cohen died in 1958 at the age of 66. Uh, his memorial service was held on stages 12 and 14 at the studios, and there is no stage 13. The Sunset Gower Studios is located at 1438 North Gower Street, uh, 90028.
It's a 14-acre television and movie studio at the corner of Sunset and Gower Street, uh, and it was established in 1912. Continues as the largest independent studio today, founded in 1912. Uh, the parent organization is the Hudson Pacific Properties. For the Sunset Gower Studios, it is a motion picture production soundstage with an additional 3,000 square foot annex of support space. Uh, it's located at 6059 Sunset Boulevard, uh, designed by Relatively Architectural Structural Engineering, it's BE System Engineering. The Siren Studios is a motion picture production uh, stage with an additional 3,000 square feet annex designed by the Siren Studios. Master Plan, the cube, is the crown jewel of the campus. The building was designed with sensitivity to shooting conditions not seen in Los Angeles. The building is over 40 feet tall of the exterior, making it the largest single-story complex structure without beams in the Western Hemisphere. It has the capacity to shoot everything from high in magazine and advertisements and commercials to full length features films. A 25 square foot loading door will allow four multi tracks to drive inside the construction area. Finished height of 35 feet can support over 10,000 pounds. Pounds of rigging, enough to hang three cars of a commercial chute if necessary. The walls are designed with recycled styrofoam, insulated concrete blocks, giving the interior an STC sound rating of over 150. The lighting is the latest in LED technology, and actual house power requirements are less than a typical single family dwelling. The entire site and building uses rainwater as a gray water to irrigate the planters. The annex and the cube are fully wired with fiber optics to allow instantaneous editing from remote locations. The exterior facade is designed with concrete rain screen panels and are interchangeable. From Western, you would come across what was the old Fox Studios to the Sunset Broadenton Studios, the Siren Studios, the old Spaghetti Factory, which was the old K&X production, uh, production studios, the Spaghetti Factory. Then you come up across the Sunset and Gower uh, Studios as part of the original and old Hollywood. A lot of Hollywood is there. A lot of Hollywood has been torn down. You also, across, you come up to the Columbia Square, which was home of KCBS TV, KCAL 9, uh, owned by CBS, part of the Columbia Ranch, before they moved out to Studio City. The KCAL 9 used to be located over on Melrose Avenue, where they did theirs before they became uh, sister stations. Sunset Boulevard was a home of entertainment industry and the movie industry from Western Avenue all the way down to Vine Street. And then on Vine Street, you had NBC, ABC, uh, radio stations. The Barb Griffin Show was filmed down there, the Joey Bishop Show. This is Old Hollywood. You had Capitol Records. You have where the Los Angeles Film Institute is now located. That's where the RCA Records was located at.